Hello and thank you for joining me on my video series. Um, my name is Devin Olson and uh, today's video, uh, this video series is installing and configuring um, IBM Lotus uh, Traveler on IBM Lotus Domino on Scent OS 6. I'm Devin Olson. <coughs> okay, so uh, right here I'm going to go click file and I'm going to go ahead and create a folder um, right from, let's try that again, file, create folder. And I'm, gonna, I'm just going to call it install. And then inside of that, I'm going to go ahead and open that up and choose File, Create Folder. And I'll create one called Domino. And I'll go File, uh, Create Folder. And I'll do one called Traveler. And then I'm just going to kind of, uh, let's see, we'll just close this, get this out of the way, keep this up, close this, get it out of the way. And now I'm going to take my Traveler, and I'm going to, oops, I'm going to drag it to there. I'm going to take my domino, and I'm going to go and grab it, drag it to there. So we see it's there, and we see it's there. Okay, so that's that. Now I want to go get out of this. So I'm going to go ahead and choose logout root. I want to get out of being logged in as root, and go back to show you how to switch IDs. So here's the ID I was in previously. And so here we are, we're right here on the workspace. Now other, you'll notice um, right here, I've just right clicked anywhere on the desktop and I get this open in terminal. And for those of you who are familiar with Linux, you'll know exactly what this means. Those of you who are Windows users um, only, what this does is it's, it's a command prompt. It opens my, my Linux command prompt. And so right here I can get a directory of what I see and directory command for Lotus is ls for list. Uh, or excuse me, for Linux's list. So there's nothing there. I can CD back here to the root. And so there's your stuff. Uh, these are all the directories. And you'll notice there's an install directory right there. So to change to that directory, I just type in uh, uh, install. And you'll see there's the domino and the travel directories. So far, so good. It's pretty, pretty simple. So now what I want to show you is. Um, I don't like this here, so I'm just going to exit and create a new one just because it bugs me. So right click, open the terminal, and there we go. So, um, so there we go. So what I'm going to do now is <clears throat> within this command line, this command window terminal context, I'm going to change to the root user uh, so that I have some, some additional uh, rights uh, so that I can do some additional things here because one of the things I need to, to create here is I need to create some directories um, for installing Domino, okay, um, or for Domino to live. And so right here, I'm at the core, I'm at the very root, the base of the file system. And so I could say uh, make your um, install, and you'll notice I, I can't create it um, because it exists. I'm sorry, make their local. And you'll notice I cannot create that local directory. That I want to create a local directory, but I can't because I don't have the rights to do so. I don't have the right permission to create it, so I'm going to change IDs. And the, it's pretty simple what I want to do here. So uh, I'm going to issue the command su. That means super user, and that says root. So I'm trying to change IDs in a command line or a command window to my root user. So now I have to enter the password for the root user. And now you'll notice, you'll notice here to the left of my command line previously, it had my user ID Dolson. Now it has my user ID root. So now I have the, the root ID. I'm in the same area that I was before, but I now have the rights and privileges afforded to the root user. So, and again, if I go to the install directory, uh, and there's my Domino and my Traveler directories, there's my domino thing it's red because it's a different type of file um, there we are. and there's that so I, I have them they're both available to me uh, there we go. LS. so here I am back at the very beginning so what I want to do is I want to create a directory within which I can store uh, where, where domino will, will live and run um, 
I, I need a, a directory for the executables and I need a directory for the data and, and that kind of stuff. So that's going to be uh, local. So I'm going to say uh, mkdir, that's the command to create a directory, and I'm going to say um, boom from the root, meaning that the backslash means from the very beginning uh, local. So that'll be the name of that. So now you'll see there's now a a local directory in here that I've just created right there. And so now if I want to change to that, uh, and there we within it. So within here I want to create a notes data directory, and this would be synonymous if you're familiar with uh, a Domino server. This will be where the data directory would would live. So. Uh, ATA. <coughs> and so there we are. So I have the notes data directory <coughs> as well. So, so far, so good.